The Comfort Book by Matt Hay is a book that I often read before painting to take inspiration. This book has a way of looking at life which makes us stop and think, and by the time we reach the last page, we understand the world around us a lot better and a lot more comfortable being in it. So today, I'm going to read my favorite parts from this book while I flip through my sketchbook pages. Nothing is stronger than a small hope that doesn't give up. The best thing about rock bottom is the rock part. You discover the solid bits of you, the bit that can't be broken down further, the thing that you might sentimentally call a soul. At our lowest, we find the solid ground of our foundation, and we can build ourselves anew. Happiness occurs when you forget who you're expected to be and what you're expected to do. Happiness is an accident of self-acceptance. It's the warm breeze you feel when you open the door to who you are. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been opened for us. I love stillness, slowness, when nothing is happening, the blueness of the sky, inhaling clean air, birdsong over traffic, lone footsteps, spring flowers blooming with defiance. I used to think the quiet patches felt dead, now they feel more alive, like leaning over and listening to the earth's heartbeat. No is a good word, it keeps you sane. In an age of overload, no is really yes. It is yes to having the space you need to live. Imagine forgiving yourself completely, the goals you didn't reach, the mistakes you made, instead of locking those flaws inside to define and repeat yourself. Imagine letting your past float through your present and away like air through a window, freshening a room, 